gonna be a bit of a shorter video, but it's because Lego just did something that I had to talk about. August 1st means a new wave of Lego Star Wars sets. It's a mixed bag, but they just did something that may have single-handedly won over a ton of the Lego Star Wars haters. They brought back the king himself, Jedi Bond. This is such a dope thing for Lego to do, man. Now, just a bit of backstory. Jedi Bob is basically an unnamed Jedi character that they put in the 2002 gunship because they just didn't know who else to put in there. So they just put in a generic Jedi. Yellow skin, hood, just as generic as you can get. And the fans started affectionately calling this character Jedi Bob. And because of the fact that he was only in one set, the value of this minifigure starts skyrocketing. Getting to be over almost 150 or not $200 just for a generic Jedi character. But then the UCS gunship wins the vote and everyone thinks this could be the moment Jedi Bob could come back. Everyone votes for it. The biggest two figures in the set that people wanted were Phase 2 Cody and Jedi Bob. Just everyone knew that. Tragically, but tragically, LEGO did not put Jedi Bob or Phase 2 Cody in the gunship. We don't have to get into that. You know how that went if you were around. And the fan base was heartbroken. Jedi Bob was still nowhere to be found. And Phase 2 Cody is a figure that could be in other sets because it's just a clone. But what other set are you going to put Jedi Bob in? It's such a weird niche character. So it looked like hope was lost for Jedi Bob. It looked like he was never going to come back and he was just going to be this one-off kind of funny story that was in the LEGO Star Wars community. Until we had a weird rumor. Jedi Bob's Starfighter. And like, this makes no sense. Jedi Bob doesn't have a Starfighter. He's not even a real character. They just made him up. So this looked just like fake. It looked like it was probably just someone trying to get views. But then something weird happened. A trailer came out on Disney Plus for a show called Rebuild the Galaxy. And you will not believe who showed up in that trailer. And here it is. It's real. Jedi Bob is back. <laughs> and this is just it's such a cool thing for Lego to do because like, yeah, it would have been cool if he was in the UCS gunship. They didn't put him in the gunship, but I think this makes it okay because this is only a $40 set. A lot of people can go and get Jedi Bob now. It is almost the identical minifigure to the 2002 one. The only thing is that they actually put on a little bit of wearing on it so that it looks like it's from 2002. Some people don't like that. Some people wanted a fresh out of the box Jedi Bob. I think it's cool though. And they also even brought back the old hood piece to make it an accurate Jedi Bob. Whoa. So Lego did it. They righted one of their wrongs. They realized that they should have put Bob in the gunship. And now both minifigures that people want in the gunship are out in the wild. They've both been made. I feel like hopefully we can move past that now. <laughs> but overall, this is so cool. The fact that Lego is kind of showing homage to older Lego and the fan base for a character that they probably never thought would even be anything special. And they brought him back. And he's even named Jedi Bob. Dope move. 10 out of 10. W Lego. So there you go. Jedi Bob has somehow returned and Lego now all you need to do is make smaller Lord of the Rings sets and then I can truly love you again thanks so much for watching see you next time bye